The Taxidermist, a story by Butch Leak. In the heart of Boston's Beacon Hill, a beautiful affluent neighborhood steeped in history and grandeur of vile and sinister presence had taken hold. A series of macabre wax murders had gripped the community, sending shivers down the spines of its residents. Each victim was transformed into an eerie wax sculpture, their lifeless eyes casting a haunting gaze upon anyone who dared to look. Detective Satchel Drummond, a determined and resourceful woman, became fixated on capturing this elusive killer. Armed with her sharp intellect and a yielding courage, she vowed to bring justice to the victims and alleviate the fears of the community. Standing alongside her was Marshall Hall, the experienced and respected Boston Police Commissioner. Together, they formed an unlikely but formidable duo in their relentless pursuit of the truth. Their investigation led them deep into the historical significance of the wax bodies found in a local museum. These bodies, now unsuspecting victims brutally murdered, stuffed, and turned into wax sculptures, held the key to unraveling the mystery. Within the walls of the museum, they discovered perplexing connections between the victims and past exhibits. With each step they took, the tension grew. They crossed paths with compelling supporting characters, a historian with deep knowledge of Beacon Hill's dark secrets, an artist whose creations seemed eerily similar to the wax figures and an antiquities dealer with an uncanny knowledge of the museum's exhibits. Each one held a crucial piece of information, a link that would bring them closer to unmasking the taxidermist. As the investigation continued, unexpected twists and turns left Satchel and Marshall grappling with their own theories and doubts. The lines between friend and foe, truth and deception, began to blur. A mysterious pattern emerged, suggesting that the killer was not only seeking revenge but also seeking to perpetuate a twisted legacy. As the darkness settled over Beacon Hill, the race against time intensified. The body count rose, and the community grew increasingly fearful. Satchel and Marshall found themselves entangled in a web of deceit and danger, where anyone could be a potential victim or a hidden accomplice. The gripping story reached its climax as Satchel unveiled a vital clue, leading her and Marshall to the door of yea another unsuspecting victim. But just as they were about to capture the taxidermist, a chilling realization washed over them. The true identity of the killer remained shrouded in mystery, and their quest for justice was far from over. Who was the elusive taxidermist? What dark motives propelled them to commit such gruesome acts? The answers lingered in the shadows, waiting to be unveiled in the next chilling chapter of the taxidermist. Chapter 2 The Dreadful Discovery as the sun dipped below the horizon casting long eerie shadows across the aging streets of Beacon Hill, Detective Satchel Drummond and Marshall Hall stood outside the doors of the infamous taxidermist shop. The scent of wax and aged animal skins clung to the air like a tangible presence, goosebumps crawling across their skin. Drummond glanced at Hall, her eyes filled with determination. We need to get inside, she said, her voice barely above a whisper. We can't waste any more time. Hall nodded, his grip on his revolver tightening. Together, they pushed open the creaking doors, instinctively steadying each other before crossing the threshold. The shop was shrouded in darkness, illuminated only by flickering candlelight. The dim glow cast grotesque shadows on the animal mounts lining the walls, their dead eyes seemingly following the detective's every move. Silently they crept deeper into the shop, their footsteps muffled by the layers of dust that covered the wooden floorboards. A testament to the taxidermist's seclusion, as they rounded a corner, they stumbled upon a grisly sight that froze them in their tracks. Laid out on a blood-stained table was a life-sized wax figure, unnervingly realistic. It was a replica of their lead victim, the socialite Evelyn Sinclair. Her straight black hair fell gracefully around her shoulders, her porcelain skin almost luminous in the candlelight. But it was her eyes that held Drummond and Hall captive they sparkled with an ethereal quality a terrifying testament to the taxidermist's twisted talent. The detectives exchange a horrified look, someone had been here recently, perfecting their macabre art in plain sight. The realization sent a shiver down Drummond's spine. They were closer to the dormant evil lurking in Beacon Hill than they had ever been before. As they continued to explore, 
they stumbled across a hidden compartment beneath the table. Inside, they found a meticulously kept journal, filled with cryptic notes and musings. Handwritten records detailed the taxidermist's fascination with the process of death and the preservation of beauty. The nostalgic scent of aged ink permeated the air, its words becoming an eerie soundtrack to the unsettling atmosphere of the shop. The journal offered glimpses into the taxidermist's demented mind, but it also exposed connections far more chilling than any of them could have imagined. References to prominent and influential members of society, hidden in plain sight, raised questions about the extent of the taxidermist network. Every breadcrumb they picked up seemed to lead down a darker pathway merging the line between art and horror, and exposing ties to corruption and power at the highest levels of Beacon Hill society. As Drummond and Hall poured over the journal, feverishly trying to piece together the puzzle, a name jumped off the page, leaving them stunned. It was a name they had come across in their previous investigations, a sinister figure widely rumored to be involved in nefarious activities. This revelation shifted the investigation into a different orbit, forcing the detectives to consider that the taxidermist might be more than a lone artist with a twisted obsession. Just as they were about to delve deeper into this newfound revelation, a gunshot echoed through the shop, sending them diving for cover. A bullet pierced the wall inches from Drummond's ear, splintering the wood and sending shards flying. As they peered over their hiding places, eyes wide with fear, they caught a glimpse of a figure disappearing through the back door. They knew their chase was just beginning and that they were now the hunted. With adrenaline coursing through their veins, Drummond and Hall exchange a brief look before moving as one towards the back door determined to catch their elusive prey. The hunt for the taxidermist had reached new heights and they knew that one way or another, they would uncover the chilling truth behind the wicked and sinister presence that plagued Beacon Hill. To be continued. Chapter 3 Hidden truths, the pungent smell of death filled the air as Detective Satchel Drummond and Marshall Hall cautiously crept through the dimly lit taxidermist shop. The previous night they had stumbled upon a gruesome scene with the lifeless bodies of animals lining the shelves each one carefully preserved, yea sinister in its stillness as they made their way towards the back of the shop. A flickering light caught Drummond's eye. They approached a worn-out bookshelf, covered in dust, which seemed out of place amidst the polished taxidermy displays. Paul swiftly pushed the bookshelf aside, revealing a hidden compartment. Inside, they found an old, weathered journal, its pages filled with cryptic notes and musings. Drummond ran her fingers over the yellowed parchment, feeling a sense of unease settle in the pit of her stomach. This journal held the key to understanding the true nature of the taxidermist activities. The first few pages were filled with sketches of peculiar creatures, accompanied by enigmatic scribblings. Drummond's mind raced with the possibilities of what these creatures could be were they merely figments of the taxidermist's imagination, or were they real beings that he had encountered. The detective's curiosity quickly turned into chilling realization as she began to uncover something far more sinister. Turning to a later page Drummond read aloud her voice filled with incredulity. It is with great satisfaction that I can confirm the involvement of the influential society figures. Their pockets stained with the same dark secrets as mine. Together, we navigate the intricate dance of power and control. Paul's eyes widened as the list of names and their accompanying marks became clear. The journal detailed connections to judges, politicians, and even acclaimed artists. The faces of prestigious members of society suddenly became tainted by the unsettling truth that they, too, were implicated in the taxidermist's web of deviance. But what sent chills down Drummond's spine was the mention of one particular name. A name that had played their investigations from the beginning Sebastian Blackwood. Whispers of the man's involvement in nefarious activities had circulated the city's underbelly. His solid evidence remained elusive. The journal hinted at a twisted relationship between Blackwood and the taxidermist, revealing a darkness that surpassed anything Drummond and Hall had ever encountered. As the detectives absorbed this revelation, each word etching deeper into their minds, a sharp report echoed through the shop. 
A bullet whizzed past them, shattering the silence and lodging itself into a severed deer's head. Fear mingled with determination in Drummond's eyes as she instinctively pulled Hall behind a shelf bare. We have to move, now, Drummond urged her voice determined. With adrenaline coursing through their veins, the detectives darted towards the exit, the only escape from the taxidermist labyrinth in lair. Each footfall reverberated through the dark corridors, their lungs burning with a need for air. The taxidermist, aware of their discovery, would not let them leave in scathe. The pursuit had become a relentless chase, the very essence of life and death at their heels. They burst into the moonlit streets with pounding hearts, only to be met by darkness and silence. Shadows danced against the buildings as Drummond and Hull strained their senses, searching for the taxidermist's next move. Unpredictable, the hunter had become the haunted. Drummond's eyes met Hull's, a silent exchange of understanding passing between them. They knew that this was only the beginning of the most dangerous game they had ever played. The hunt for the taxidermist had entered a new phase, one filled with heightened danger and looming death. With fear engulfing them but determination burning within the detective sprinted into the night the sound of distant sirens echoing in the distance. The race against time had begun, their pursuit of the taxidermist becoming an arduous battle between light and darkness, justice and corruption. They were ready to face the horrors that awaited them and stopped at nothing to bring down the taxidermist and his network of influential evildoers. Their unyielding spirit coupled with an unwavering bond transformed them into an unstoppable force, determined to expose the hidden truths and ensure that justice prevailed. Detective Satchel Drummond and Marshall Hall burst out of the taxidermist's lair, their breaths coming in ragged gasps as they sprinted through the labyrinth in alleys. The ominous echo of their pursuers' heavy footsteps reverberated through the narrow street sending shivers down their spines, urging them to push their limits further. As they rounded a corner, Satchel's heart soared with relief when a flickering neon sign came into view. It read the open book, their favorite dive bar. With every ounce of strength they had left, they charged towards the buzzing entrance. Dodging patrons and leaving a trail of bewildered faces in their wake, they reached the safety of a dimly lit booth tucked away in the corner. Has gaining on us, Satchel, Marshall panted, wiping the sweat from his froed brow. We need a plan, and fast. Satchel's eyes shone with a fierce determination, fueled by the revelations discovered in the taxidermist journal. We've come too far to turn back now, Marshall. We hold the key to exposing the hidden truths that have plagued this city for years. Pulling out the worn pages of the journal, Satchel spread them across the table. The intricate web of connections, lists of names, and cryptic entries revealed a darker truth than they could have ever imagined. The taxidermist was merely a pawn, a cog in a much larger machinery of influential criminals. We need to gather evidence, Satchel whispered, enough to dismantle their empire, to expose them for the monsters they are. Their adrenaline-fueled minds working in perfect synchrony, Satchel and Marshall devised a plan. They knew they had to stay one step ahead of their pursuer, utilizing their unique abilities and the element of surprise. As night chased away the fading light, they stealthily moved through the deserted streets towards an abandoned warehouse. Shadows cast by flickering street lamps danced around them, concealing their movements and adding to the sense of danger that electrified the air. The oppressive silence amplified their anticipation, each footstep echoing like a warning bell. Inside the warehouse, they discovered a makeshift lamp. Shackles hung from the rusted ceiling test tubes filled with mysterious substances lined the shelves, and faded photographs captured twisted experiments. The sight fueled their anger and determination further. Without hesitation, Satchel and Marshall gathered samples, photographs, and crucial evidence. It was their silent crusade against the hidden truth that had plagued the city for far too long. Suddenly, the door creaked open, and the taxidermist stood there, his eyes filled with malicious intent. You two thought you could escape, but there's nowhere left to hide. But Satchel, never one to falter, stood tall, a defiant glimmer in her eyes. Your reign ends here. We hold the evidence to expose your network, to bring justice to these darkened streets. Not on my watch, the taxidermist sneered, 
lunging towards them. In a blur of motion, Satchel and Marshall fought back, utilizing their training, their wits, and the strength fueled by their purpose. Blow after blow, they showed no mercy, their dedication to uncovering the truth igniting an unyielding fire within. In a final, climactic showdown, Satchel dealt the decisive blow, bringing the taxidermist crashing to the ground. Gasping for air, they stared at his defeated form, knowing that this was just the beginning of a war that would define their lives. As the echoes of their victory reverberated through the warehouse, Satchel and Marshall stood amidst the wreckage, resolute in their purpose. The hidden truths would be unveiled, justice would prevail. Together, they had faced the darkness head-on, pushed beyond their limits, and emerged with an unbreakable bond forge in the crucible of danger. The city may have been cloaked in shadows but with courage, resourcefulness, and an unwavering dedication to truth, Satchel and Marshall had become the beacon of light that would expose the darkest corners and ensure that justice would reign forevermore. You've been listening to the Satchel Drummond Detective Mysteries The Taxidermist. Story by Butch Leak. For more of our audio stories, you can visit our website at www.clubhousepodcastradiotoday.com or listen online at Spotify and Amazon. For our printed books, log into www.blurb.com user Ventura 11. My name is Olivia. Thank you for stopping in.